Hi friends, so in this video, we are going to continue the same topic, virtual memory. So here we are going to discuss about virtual memory implementation. Okay, so here before that, uh, we need to know what is virtual address space. So virtual address space is the logical view. So logical view of process, how the process is stored in the memory. So that is uh, behind uh, virtual address space. So then you need to know how the physical memory is divided into number of page frames. So why that is required? So number of pa page frames will be available. So page frames may be mapped with the logical memory with the pages. Okay, so that's why you need this memory management unit. So this is how number of pages in the logical memory will be mapped with the number of page frames in the physical memory. So this is the uh, requirement of memory management unit. So after that, how this virtual memory can be implemented? So with the help of demand paging technique or with the demand or with the technique demand segmentation. Okay, so with this uh, methods, with these methods, you can implement the virtual memory concept with the operating system. So more advantages are there with the virtual memory concept. So smaller uh, memory, with the help of smaller memory, you can run larger, bigger size programs. So those, the, those, those are the programs or process requires the more amount of storage. So those process can be implemented or executed with the help of smaller memory. So this is the uh, information related to virtual memory implementation. Thank you.